I've done some Bush League stuff in my day, but this is gonna be the lowest effort beer I've ever made in my life. Am I gonna be able to clean my Airbnb after this? <laughs> Yesterday I was conducting an experiment and I made five gallons of beer wort, which is essentially just sugar water made from grains. It took me about an hour to make. I have no plans to do anything else with it. I don't have time to make the rest of this beer, so I was just gonna dump it. Then I thought, you know what? I have this keg from another batch of beer we did. It was great. You can actually reuse yeast. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna empty this keg. I'm not gonna clean it. I'm not gonna sanitize it. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna take this no boil wort, dump it in here with a little bit more hops, not even gonna add yeast because there's already live yeast in there and see what happens. But wait, it gets worse. I have these hops. When we cut the label, we cut the top off and then just ditched it. I have no idea what these hops are. I have no idea how much is here. But I want it to be a little bit hoppy. So I'm just gonna dump some in. The downside of adding hops this way and not boiling them is that we won't really get any bitterness from the hops, which might sound like a good thing, but it's not. Some bitterness is actually good. Man, this just this low effort beer just turned into effort, which I'm not happy about. I thought there was a floating dip tube in there. If I just leave it all in there, that's all just gonna be a big like layer of sludge and the dip tube is just gonna pour right from that. I can't, can't have that. So, I feel like surgeries were performed during like the Civil War era with less sanitation than this and things turned out just fine. So I think we'll be okay. This is a gamble right here. Floating dippers and ale yeast don't always work out. If I did the regular dip tube, it's guaranteed to not work out. So there's still a chance this could get screwed up, but it is in there. Okay, my other worry, well, there's a lot of things to be worried about here. The other worry is that the, it might be a little bit grassy because I just dumped hops in there. They're gonna be in there the entire like length of the fermentation. I, mean, I don't even know what the hops are. And then there's clearly already some hop sludge at the bottom. So I took it easy on that. So I am gonna use the spunning valve at a low pressure just to kind of keep that yeast cake from rising up and blasting out. All we can do now is hope for the best. This is the absolute lowest quality <laughs> beer I could make. Is there garbage in this? No, huh? Okay. No, I like it. I mean, like I said, I hate beer, so. Uh, well, you're the perfect <laughs> person for this taste test. <laughs> the thing is, I don't even know what you should be tasting because it was just like, literally this is a mix of two different batches of beer. Mm. Uh, and it's like the second generation of a yeast, which typically produces different results. Mm -hmm. um, but you're just kind of making sure that we're not tasting off flavors. Like if yeah, we were, you want us yeah, to, to the, say that. Yeah, cherry, banana bread, raisins. Raisins? Raisins? Yeah, definitely a wet mouth feel. My milk is coming in, which is oh, good. Yeah. Brewer's mm -hmm. yeast. Brewer's yeast, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the question is, isn't like, is this the best beer ever? It's like, does this taste like some sort of garbage trash or something? Is there garbage in this? No, huh? Okay. I thought it smelled like Dr. Pepper. I'm not kidding. You really think it's yeah. Good? Okay. Hoppy, but not hoppy. Like a smooth cigar. I don't know how to describe is beer. Is there any alcohol in it? Or like something Dr. like Pepper, my parents like used cherry? to feed me in the morning. Were they feeding me beer? <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like a beer, like you said, that I would just have out at a brewery or a bar, or, you know, it just feels like like a very high quality, consistent, like something that people would replicate over and over and over again. That was a burp. I don't know how to burp myself, so I, <laughs> it just comes out. <laughs> Should we have a chugging contest? <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> Smash! <laughs> Smash! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, right? <laughs>